Coming up on this edition of Hudson Valley Adventures, we're checking out a spot that offers kayaking on the Hudson, a world-class art center, and a thriving Main Street full of shops, galleries, and restaurants. Oh, not to mention they have a really famous strawberry festival and dog parade. I'm talking about Beacon, New York. It's the 10th annual Tribeca Film Festival, and the festival that was designed to bring New Yorkers back downtown after September 11th is now a star-studded affair. Take a look. Hi. Can you tell me what drew you to this film? Uh, I read the script and it was just so unlike any Hollywood movie. So the big scoop from tonight's premiere, Wrath the Titan, Sam Worthington tells us Avatar 2 is definitely on. From the red carpet, I am Melissa Unger. Fun fact about the film War Horse, this is the first time that Steven Spielberg is actually editing his film digitally. In a press conference earlier this week, Justin Timberlake said he choreographed Cameron Diaz's car wash scene. Well, we'll just have to see if he brought any sexy back. What do you foresee in this upcoming season as far as fashion? Well, for spring right now, I mean, everyone always says color, but most importantly with this um, spring season, women, prints. Hi there, I'm Melissa Unger for Hudson Valley Adventures, the show that explores the best the Hudson Valley has to offer, no more than 90 minutes outside of Manhattan. And today, we're exploring Cold Spring. So you may have to take a ferry to get here, and you can't take your car or your dog, and you're not supposed to drink the water, but if you haven't been to Governor's Island, you're missing out. Why? Because this weekend, there's a traffic jam. We've all seen George Clooney as Batman, but who knew it? He's also Superman. In his latest film, he writes, directs, and acts, all in the eyes of March. I know Twilight questions, you get a million of them. Are you glad that you're going to be able to see the sun now, or sad that you won't sparkle? I'm glad, to, um, it's both. I'm sad that I won't be able to sparkle, and I'm glad that I get to see the sun. As far as the color palette, what did you kind of pick for this, this collection? Uh, a lot of khaki, uh, a lot of brights. What can people expect from this film, a complete reboot of the series? Tell me about it. First of all, um, Emma Stone in 3D. I think that's a big selling point. And, uh, and for the uh, female audience, um, Andrew Garfield in 3D in the Spider-Man suit. Which way is the way to fling web? Is it two finger, is it one finger, or is it no finger? So well, for me, um, in, in this iteration of the, of the, of the um, story, I, I, I make the web shooters myself, and there's a pad, there's a little button, like a, like a pressure pad, a very small pressure pad. I use two fingers personally, but you can maybe use one, but I, I think two fingers you get more pressure, so it's two fingers on the palm. I must commend you on such a beautiful animated film. Thank you, Melissa. Thank can, you. Can you tell me about the technology and your venture into animated films? Well, the technology was uh, about, I'd say, seven years in the making. Bob Zemeckis, uh, my protege, who did, did Forrest Gump and did movies like Castaway and, of course, Polar Express, he invented this technology. And then he made a series of movies where the technology improved and got better and better. And then Jim Cameron took the technology and did Avatar with it. And that was amaz truly amazing. And then we took the animators who did Avatar, slid them over to Tintin. And that's why I think we have such an authentic, photorealistic look to our movie. It is so beautiful. And I, I wanted to ask you, how did you discover Tintin? I mean, he's such an iconic European character, but how did you, you find him? I, I read a, re I, you know, I used to always say don't read reviews, but I figured it'd be safe to read a review because I don't read French. Mm -hmm. So I got, picked up a French newspaper and read a Tintin review, a, a uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark review, and they kept mentioning something called Tintin. So I researched it, got a Tintin book, and realized that Hergé had written a very, not a similar adventure, but a movie that is based on all the important principles of, of the adventure genre. And it was, I can see why the French thought there was a similarity between Raiders and Tintin. Now, how did you wrangle Peter Jackson into this film as well? I mean, he's, I mean, he's motion capture, he's got that down. Yeah. Well, you know, he's really a funny guy. He's got a great dry sense of humor. And I did a snowy test with his company, Weta. And I wanted to see a digital snowy. And without telling me, Peter stuck himself on the test playing Captain Haddock oh, wow. in full costume and came out with a bottle pretending he was drunk and it was hysterically funny and I called Peter to thank him afterwards and he said, yeah, I've been reading Tintin since I was five years old. And when he said that, I said, well, do you want to make this with me? We can produce it together. And that's how we got into business together. He actually said that you're very much like Tintin, more than him. Would you want to comment on that? I think he's right. I think I am more like Tintin and I think he's more like Haddock. I think it was no accident he put on the Haddock wardrobe. 